Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the arrest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, with Saint Basil, with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us now pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this year church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer for serenity? O oh God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking, as he did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever. Amen. As I was saying earlier, today we celebrate the feast of St. Peter Claver. He was the same time as our great martyrs, Jean de Brebeuf, Isaac Jogues, and companions. Jean de Brebeuf and Isaac Jogues came all the way from France, and Peter was from Spain. And yet these men were inspired by the life of Christ. Jean de Brebeuf and Isaac Jogues and companions gave their lives dying for the faith. Peter Claver lived his life taking care of the slaves, and today he's called the Apostle of the Slaves in Colombia. Let us now pray together. Lord, you have nourished us with bread from heaven. Fill us with your spirit and make us one in peace and love. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has been celebrated. Go now in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another. Our thanks to several donors. The first, a group from St. Dunstan's Church in Fredericton, New Brunswick. The second, an anonymous donor from Regina, Saskatchewan. And the third, an anonymous donor from Sydney Mines, Nova Scotia. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. Please remember that all requests for special prayers are read by Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Donovan, Father Fitzpatrick, and Father Lynch. And your intentions are carried with them to the altar for the celebration of Holy Mass. Thank you.